What up tech fans? Welcome back once again to the channel. I'm Elric and today we're gonna to talk to you guys about something that you guys have seen kind of on the end of our videos here and there. We've been mentioning it, but today we're gonna to actually show you just what the heck Cam is, what it does, and why it's absolutely cool software for those who are totally anal about being able to control their PC from anywhere. If you're a PC enthusiast and you like a lot of programs all in for one and don't wanna spend a penny, let's check out Cam. So the first step in using CAM is going online and downloading CAM. All you have to do is go to any search engine, simply type in NZXT CAM. After you click on the link, you'll be taken over to the NZXT site where it simply asks you to download now. And then it's gonna ask you to create an account. Now don't freak out. This is only so that you can monitor your computer from any mobile device. And after you download the CAM software, you simply click on the icon, install the software, Click on the icon on the screen where you'll be prompted to enter your account information and voila, CAM is up and running. As soon as you open up CAM, you're automatically in the dashboard area and you can actually make it full screen, but when it's full screen, it gives you just a whole lot of options. You guys can see up here in the left corner, corner, I have minute, hour, day, week. It totally keeps track of what your computer's doing. All the things about your CPU temperatures, your motherboard, all of this stuff is in here if you want this full screen. But I find it when it's in its just original form, it's a lot easier to use for most things. On the very first time that you open up CAM, you can also go over here to the little eye next to the CPU. And if you hover your mouse over that, it will show you your idle and load temps. On the right, you see the GPU setting. You will also see that CAM shows you the type of GPU and CPU that you're running. It also shows you how much memory you have installed and how much load there is on your memory. And down below the RAM, you guys can currently see all the programs that are running in the background. To the right, you see the different storage devices, how much space is free, how much space is used. The C drive is my personal boot drive. It's an Intel SSD. And I have a Western Digital hard drive, which is my X drive, and that's what I use to store all my games. Now down below that is the Hue lighting control. You can see there's two different channels and each channel controls two strips of lights. We'll be totally talking about that later, but it's really interesting and the lights are really cool looking. Now the view that we're seeing here, this is the basic view, but there's also two different views as well. There's the advanced view, which I've clicked on now, which you guys can see shows a bunch of different graphs, shows all the different heat variances that's going on in your system. And then last but not least, we have the expanded view, and this allows you to pull another window up and has even more information about what's going on with your system in great, great detail. Now the stat screen, it actually offers a lot of information. It has all the different variances for the different things operating within your system. Starting at the top, you see the CPU and all the different temps there. And as you scroll down, you see the GPU, the motherboard, the RAM, your hard drive, and even things for your network. And this includes both the upload speeds and download speeds of your internet. And then next, let's check out specs. Obviously, these are the specs of the system. As I scroll down, you'll see it shows everything that's inside the system, from your CPU, to your GPU, to your motherboard, to your RAM, to your hard drive, everything's there. And if you're one of those people who wants to know all the different apps they're using and what it does, they even have a window for the top apps. And another useful thing is the ability to monitor what you want, when you want, via a drop-down window. You just simply click on the plus sign to expand any window you want to see. So let's pop out of the expanded window and let's go check out the advanced tab. Now as we go into the advanced tab, this is the area of this software that is for the people out there who are crazy anal and want to know everything that's going on about every aspect of their system. And what's really cool is that you can actually monitor two different things at once by your choice. You can either monitor your GPU and your CPU, or you can monitor your motherboard and your GPU, or you can monitor your RAM. You guys know what I'm going with this. Now going into the CPU tab, this is where you can monitor all your cores. And what's crazy is that you can monitor by the minute, by the hour, by the day, or by the week. And you can also monitor even a single core at a time simply by placing your mouse over it and clicking. And as we click in the minute tab and hover our mouse over the graph, you guys can see all the idle and load tabs down to the second as you scroll it. And all the information is right there to the right in that little window, crazy. And you can also monitor in real time your current CPU status and CPU load. In the window I currently have open, I'm monitoring the CPU and GPU, and the GPU can be monitored in all the same ways as the CPU, by minute, by hour, by day, by week, and everything shows you the same idle and load temps. 
Now going into the motherboard tab, you guys can see that you can monitor your voltage, your temperature, and your fans. And as we click into the RAM tab, you can see it's pretty much the same thing as the GPU and CPU monitoring with the RAM status and RAM load located to the far right. And clicking on the HDD tab, you can first see there's a little drop down menu over here. This will show you the different drives that you have installed in your system. It'll also show you the firmware, the start time, and the time that you powered on your drives. There are also various different aspects of monitoring in the hard drive section, and you guys can see all those as I scroll through them. And last but not least, as you click on the net tab, you can see that you get the same features for monitoring, the minute, the hour, the day, and the week. The only differences are on the far right hand screen, you get your upload activity and your download activity. So that's the advanced tab. You guys can see it is really thorough in what it monitors. But now let's go and let's check out the build tab. Now inside of the build tab, obviously you're gonna get things about your build and the different types of parts you're using, but this thing gets very, very in depth. It'll show you your model, your chipset, what your south bridge is, what your BIOS is, what even your BIOS date is. So if the BIOS is really old, it might be time to looking to update that BIOS. It once again shows you everything about your memory, who makes it, what's its default frequencies, the type of memory it is, its timing. It shows you your video card's maximum TDP, the default clock speeds, the turbo clock, and its shaders. And last, it shows you all the information about your drives, which we previously saw in the advanced tab. And the last function inside of the build tab is this other little tab over here called the edit your PC. And inside of that tab, right on the top, you can see there's a little thing that says upload PC image. This is for your avatar, and you can put whatever you want in there. You can also change your computer name. And lastly, you can import a PC parts picker link if you want to check out stuff like that. Next up is the games tab. As we click in there, it'll show your most recent gaming section. And just like the other monitoring features you had when we were looking at the advanced window, you can monitor the different frames per second at different times playing the game simply by hovering over the graph and moving it to the left where you guys can see in the screen to the right, it shows you all the different frames per second of the different times of your gameplay. And then down below that, you guys can see your most recent game sessions. You just simply click on them and it'll bring the information up on the screen for you. Let's real quick go back to the dashboard. On the top of the dashboard, the first feature you'll see as I hover my mouse over is the day and night function. The day and night button actually gives you a whole new look to your cam GUI. You just click on the moon and boom. You'll also see the little camera up here. This is for taking a screenshot of what's currently on your dashboard. Next up is the notification window. I guess nobody loves me because I got no new notifications. And last up is the settings tab. As you click on that, you'll see a drop down menu comes down where you can change your settings. You can switch to Minicam, install NZXT drivers. There's also a tutorial, all the different things about cam. You can report a bug or you can log out. Now let's real quick, let's switch to the Minicam. Oh, it's a cute wee little cam. The only caveat to this tab is you can only monitor your temperatures and some features of the hue. Let's get back to the regular window, shall we? All right, so now let's real quick check out the settings. Click on the tab. The first thing that you guys see is you can manage your account online. This allows you to change your name, your password, all that different stuff. Next is the general tab. And inside the generals tab, you can change a bunch of different things as well. You can change your banner, change the language, change the color, change your boot options, your temperature options, all those good things. Next up is the frames per second overlay tab. Now inside of here, you guys will see there's a button right up here on top that says enable cam overlay. If you guys don't want this to come on when you're playing games, you simply click that off and it won't be in your game. But if you want it to be in your game and you want to monitor stuff, you simply click on that button. Now to show the different stuff that you're wanting to be monitored, you simply click on it or unclick it depending on what you want. You can also change your font, your font color, your font size, and you can also have the font scale to match with your resolution. You can also change where the overlay position is from top left to bottom left, top right, bottom right. You can even change the path of the shortcut keys which allow you to toggle the overlay in game. So as you guys can see, if you like having the cam overlay in game, you can keep it up and monitor everything while you're playing, which is pretty cool for some people. But if you want it off, you can take it off as well. And if you don't like where it's at, you can move it around to any corner you want. All right, and so the last tab is the notifications tab. Now inside of the notifications tab, you can set up notifications for your CPU, for your GPU, or your HDD. You can also disable them if you don't want to use them at all. And last but not least is the Hue tab. Cam completely controls the Hue system, but that's for another video. 
Now, the best thing about CAM, and I think all enthusiasts will agree, is the ability to be able to monitor your system and know what's going on through your mobile device. Now, this can be simply done by downloading and installing the CAM app. Then you can monitor all the same functions and features just like you're there in front of your computer. You can monitor your CPU, your GPU, your hard drive, your net, and your RAM, all from the simplicity of your mobile device. You can even use the graph mode if you want more in-depth monitoring of your system. It'll even show you the specs of your system and has an advanced mode for even more monitoring options. And pretty much all the things that you can monitor and do through the CAM desktop, you can do through the mobile app as well. And that's just pretty cool overall. So that's it, man. Cam in a nutshell. And if you guys want to be able to win a free copy of Cam, make sure you guys check out that link down below. I'm just playing with you. Cam's for free. I can't give it to you. They're already giving it to you. But check it out. We will have another video, though, completely based on the Hue lighting system, how cool it looks, the goods and the bads, and all that stuff about it uh, coming up in one of our next videos. So if you guys like this stuff about Cam, let me know down below. want to see all your comments. But if you want to go ahead and download this for free, hey, check out that link. You guys can do it. I think it has a lot of cool features. It's like one program with a lot of different functionality, man. But I want to hear what you guys have to say. And please, don't just leave a comment if you've never even tried it. At least try it and then give a comment back. You know, just saying, oh, you know, it sucks, blah, blah, blah. That's not really a valid thing. It's free, so you know, there's no harm in trying it. It's not gonna mess your system up or anything like that. I think that the worst comment I've heard from anybody is that they said in a couple of games they thought there was having a problem with their games, but that's like the absolute worst and like they never came back, so it probably fixed itself with all the new camera release stuff. But that's it, man. Thanks for watching. We'll have a whole nother video on here of a totally badass build with the cam lighting featuring you.